Hello, hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we can discuss one of the important interview question on Spark. Uh, and this question was asking in most of the experienced range. Uh, so, and this is uh, important question. We can see this one. That is nothing but how to decide the Spark cluster configuration to process 100 GB of the data. So, for this, they kept me one condition that all the data should process parallel, and that is complete parallel process that should happen. Okay. So that means whatever the partition of the data that we are processing, it should it should process in a parallel. We should not process it in a sequential manner. So that is a condition that they kept for. Okay. So to deep dive into the solution, first we can uh, divide it into the step by step process. So as a first step, step one, we have to find out total number of partitions. So to find this total number of the partition, we need to divide the 100 GB of the data by default number of the partition. So default uh, partition size is 128 MB, but, but if you wanted to increase it into more, you can get a clarification from the interviewer. But here I'm taking 128 MB as default partition. So if it is 128 MB partition, we can get around 800 partitions. Okay. So the total number of partitions are 800 with default partition size as 128 MB. Next, we can go for step two. So in step two, we have to find the number of executors required. Number of executors required. Okay, so to get this number of executors required, we have a rule of thumb, right? Each executor, each executor can have two to five cores. Okay, so two to five cores. So with that, we can say executor core as executor cores as we can go with the four okay so total number of executors required equal to total number of partitions by executor cores okay total number of partitions by executors cores executor cores which is equal to number of partitions number of executors sorry number of executors so in this case We'll divide 800 by 4, we will get 200. So these 200 is nothing but number of executors. Okay. And step 3 is nothing but executor memory. Executor memory required. Required. Okay. So we have a, uh, to calculate the executor memory. The default uh, executor memory is nothing but 4 into number of 4 into default partition size. Default partition size. So default partition size is 128 MB. So which is nothing but 4 into 128, which is nothing but 512, 512 MB. Okay. And executor memory is nothing but 512 into 4 cores. 512 into number of cores in executor. Number of cores. So which is nothing but 512 into 4, which is nothing but 2 GB. So now to summarize all these things, total summarize executor core executor cores four executor cores four executor memory equal to 2 ZB number of executor or executor instances executor instances equal to 200 so if you can go about this configuration we can able to process all 100 GB of the data without any sequential process all will happen on a parallel process so this is based on the uh, calculations on the theoretical books but when it comes to the practical uh, solution so this solution might get very if you follow the same approach obviously this is going to end up with uh, wasting so many of resources if you see we are going to use almost 400 gb of the ram so if you can go with this one so this is obviously it's not going to fail this answer as per the theoretical books but uh, but somehow during the during the interview they have agreed upon the solution but still we need to do some uh, here and there the tunings are uh, required so uh, this solution will work only in a theoretical but not work in a practical manner so you wanted to work in a practical manner by utilizing the resources effectively and uh, efficiently we have to tune this job further so we can see this on uh, upcoming video thank you